What's going on everybody? It's your boy James and today we're going to be discussing first time home buyers tips and tricks to navigate the process. If you're a first time home buyer and you guys need help, here are some tips for first time home buyer. Tip number one, what you want to do is you want to determine your budget. Before you guys start buying a house or before you guys start house hunting, you want to really establish and determine what you can afford. That's super important. This will narrow down your search and this will give you a price range where you feel comfortable in terms of purchasing. You want to consider things like income, monthly expense, down payment. You want to look for a down payment assistant program, grant programs. Consider all these options. But the first thing is determine your budget because everybody budget is different. And when you're looking, understand that each community, each houses, each area have different taxes, different assessments, HOAs, like extra taxes, homeowner associations. I know like certain area that have special assessment taxes, have, have Melarus taxes. So you want to make sure to have a monthly budget set. That will give you a clear set of, you know, what you're working with. Is there a price you're looking to stay under? Is there a monthly payment you want to look around and stay under? That will give you a clear indication of where you're at. The second thing when it comes to buying a house as a brand new buyer is you want to get pre-approved. We don't recommend talking to one lender. We definitely recommend shopping around for rates. Not all lenders are the same, just like not all real estate agents are the same. So you want to shop around and get pre-approved. It's super important in terms of home buying process. This gives you an idea of how much you can borrow. And then this will give you an idea of what the monthly payment will be. But remember, uh, when you get pre-approved, um, that's not the monthly payment that is locked in right away. That's just a pre-estimate because a lot of factors will come into play when it comes to like your monthly payment like your taxes your insurance your principal your interest and how much is your interest rate when do you close there's a lot of factors that is involved when it comes to what your monthly payment will be but get pre-approved not all lenders are the same some lenders they charge quite a bit for their lending fees you want to dive into the finances of what they're actually charging so that's why we recommend getting a couple of quotes from different lenders on estimate if you get another quote if you get two quotes right from two different lenders you will save on average between six to eight thousand dollars on your loan if you get one more quote so make sure to get that one more quote number three very important you want to find the right real estate agent when it comes to your home buying process what do i mean by right real estate agent somebody who you connect with and who you vibe with somebody who understand your needs somebody who understand you know what you're looking for the agent really help you make the transition super smooth as smooth as possible at least the least amount of stress as possible. The agent is there who is experienced in buying, selling, helping people through their real estate transaction. So not all real estate agents are the same. Some of them have more experience, some of them have less, some of them care, some of them doesn't. You wanna work with the agent that you connect with. For example, we're not gonna be able to connect with every single buyer and seller. So make sure you connect with that agent and you know that agent have the same core value as you. What we believe in as real estate agents is we believe in adding value to our client, helping them out, helping them build wealth by using real estate, um, and we don't just help them build wealth just through real estate. If they're interested in getting into real estate, if they are business owners, we want to figure out ways on how we can help them save a ton of money in terms of taxes, helping them grow, expand, help them market. So we want to help them build wealth. We help our client build wealth. Number three, collaborations. What we believe is we believe in collaborating, sharing ideas, things that work, sharing resources in terms of connections. You need this person, you need this lender, you need this painter. When we share ideas and collaborate and mastermind with our partners in terms of our client, we'll help them grow and expand their quality of life. So we believe in sharing ideas. Number four, you want to start hunting for your ideal location. Some of the locations that you want to consider is, is it close to work, school, public transportation? What are all the amenities in that area? And also, when you're looking at location, you want to look at the income level in that area and you want to look at the demographic. Are these the type of people that I vibe with? Are these people cool? That's the most important thing is you want to make sure that the location that you're in, you feel comfortable with and it's super accessible for your everyday needs like your school and your work and all the amenities that you can think of. The fifth thing, 
month, you want to start attending open houses, open house viewings. You want to start looking at properties because when it comes to buying, you want to feel like, is this the right place for me? Is this the right neighborhood for me? Don't be afraid to ask questions, take notes and to look at each property and get a good sense of like the neighborhood. Are you okay buying a new construction? Are you okay buying a resale? What are the pros and cons of buying resale versus new constructions? If you don't know all the pros and cons, we can definitely help you guys go through all that. Attend open house, view a couple of property, watch our new construction tour. We've toured so many new construction, view those. We've toured so many resale home, tour those. The more property that you see, the more educated you'll be. So our goal is to educate our client as quickly as possible so they, they can make the right decision at the right time. We wanna educate you guys. Number six, get a home inspection. If you're buying a used home, be sure to always get a home inspection. The type of home inspection that we recommend is always get a sewer scope. A sewer scope is super important because we don't know what's underneath the sewer, right? A sewer scope is important, especially the older home. With new construction, it comes with warranty. It comes with 10 year structural warranty and it comes with a one year fit and finish warranty. And depending on the builder, they have really high quality built and high quality reputation. And you'd rather buy a new home if that's the case. But with the older home, definitely get a home inspection. We definitely recommend that. So number seven, review the contracts, look into the terms, look for incentive programs, look for ways on how you can save money. When it comes to making an offer, we recommend asking for closing costs. What are some of the terms and the conditions and the things that you would want when it comes to writing the offer. Like for example, closing dates and do you have any contingency? So like for example, if you close in the beginning of the month, your next mortgage payment would not be till the month following that. Basically, you'll have like at least two months to for your next mortgage payment because you're already prepaying your taxes through closing costs. Closing costs is normally two to three percent of a home purchase price. You can Ask for that during your terms when you're writing an offer. Ask for solar. Maybe talk to your agent and see if you can get away with asking for solar. Ask for appliances. Ask for backyard plants. Um, ask for closing cost credits. Ask for a credit for, say, carpets, removing our carpets. These are some of the things that you want to consider when it comes down to reviewing and signing contracts and all that fun stuff. Buying a house and buying a home is a it's a pretty complex process with the right guidance and the right preparations. It can be super rewarding. Always remember, take your time, ask questions, and work with the professional who can help educate you in terms of the home buying process. Anyways, this is James with James and Maurice on real estate. Hopefully you guys like this type of content. If you're in the market looking to buy, let us know. Go to buy with fam or send us a quick text. We'd love to help you guys out. Our contact information is down below, so we'll love to help you guys out. Explore some of our other videos that we have. Anyways, peace and love, guys. Hopefully, we'll connect soon. All right, guys, peace and love.